guys the microphone. Go ahead, Brian. You can go first. Inside, but what kind of potential do you guys have as a three point shooting team when you shoot the way you did in the first half? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the biggest thing for us is just, uh, you know, getting ready to get on the catch as far as uh, playing off, you know, AJ, you know, Big U and Isaac. So I think I want to bond to them and, and feeding off of what they're going to do. And, uh, you know, kind of leading the defense is going to be big for us. I think we just got to be ready to knock it down. Isaac, just talk about that first half. I mean, 20 of your guys, 20 of your shots. I mean, talk about for you, how they're happening inside, trying to find these guys outside and find open shots. Uh, you know, they, of course, like you said, they were congesting the inside, but, you know, I was doing my role. I was, you know, keeping them occupied while opening up shots for my teammates. And, you know, that for me was pretty satisfying to see those threes fall and uh, see those jumpers fall for Vince and uh, Kendall and everyone else that was shooting them. So I felt like. You know, if we can just keep doing that against teams that are going to pack it in against us, then we're going to be fine this year. Kendall, when you come out and you see a team in this, I mean, you guys have talked about this, how many zones you're going to see this year. When you actually come out and see it now in competition as a shooter, what does that look like when a team is just kind of locked in on a zone for a long period of time like that and just sort of daring you guys to shoot? Yeah, that's exactly what they were doing. Um, you know, they really just said, you know, we're not going to you know, let you guys shoot layups. And we're going to make you beat us from outside. So when that happens, you know, you just got to really make a conscious effort of getting on the break and transition and getting ready to shoot, um, as well as when the ball was getting inside of it, it's doubling really quick. So uh, kind of getting to your, uh, your spots, getting to the open spots on the perimeter and getting ready to shoot. Vince, do you expect that to kind of be what you see a lot this year um, because of the concentration and strength you guys have down low? Do you expect to see that sort of defense? Um, most definitely. Uh, well, the way they were doing it, not that way, but guys were cheating, but they weren't cheating as bad as they did. They basically were saying, forget our, our perimeter guys, like you got to have your shots. So, I mean, once we get down in the season and we play other teams, I don't think they'll do exactly what they did, but it'll be something very similar. Uh, for both, both you guys, uh, hey, getting that first uh, three-point shot over the first five minutes, it was kind of slow. When Kendall hit the first couple, it seemed to get everyone going. How important is it to, to get off to a fast, fast start when you do see it? Um, I, well, we, uh, like you said, we didn't make uh, threes for the first five minutes, and we started the game with like two or three turnovers, so that's something we can't do. But um, just to see just to see a shot go in, even if it's not your shot, it gives you confidence. Uh, I mean, uh, everybody missed one until Kendall finally hit one, and I think just Kendall being able to come in and come right off the bench, even though they hit three, was, it's huge for us having a, having a shooter like Kendall who's without a doubt one of the best shooters in the Big Ten. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I think just with this team, man, I mean, I mean, you can just look at the stat sheet. We got uh, six, you know, people all down in the same, uh, you know, point total. So I think as a, as a <laughs> uh, I think just with this team, man, when we see somebody else make a basket, you know, it's like us making a basket. So, uh, you know, we got great chemistry and, uh, you know, we definitely feed off of each other, especially, you know, you know, it's good to get climbed on. You know, we had a rough uh, exhibition game and we wanted to play better. So having, uh, having a couple shots went down was big for us. There's a stretch there tonight where, and this has kind of been, I guess, talked about, but I think uh, Kendall and Matthias and maybe I don't know if it was you or maybe Ryan Klein at one point, but was, they, you were getting three shooters on the floor at one time. So how does Dakota being able to kind of play point now for you guys even kind of change that dynamic even more when you can get even more shooters on the floor? Uh, what well, I feel like it draws them out more because they can't leave three excellent shooters outside. Yeah, one of the best shooters coming into the college right now, uh, you know, playing is Dwayne. You got one of the best shooters in the Big Ten, and you got Dakota Mathias who can be a point and a shooting guard at the same time. You have to extend that, or else we're going to start knocking down threes. And not to mention, it opened it up for me and Biggie, me and Jaquil, uh, Vance. It opened up for everybody. So I think if we can just keep shooters on the outside that are hitting like they did today, even though it was kind of slow starting, uh, it's going to be it's going to be a great year. That's for sure. Isaac, now that that your wrist is better, what's the biggest difference in your foul shooting, I guess, form or just how you're doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's shooting up. Uh, I, I had a, a problem shooting flat, actually. That was my biggest issue and not getting enough legs into my shot. I was just kind of real stiff.
and then I, I was kind of going with two motions. I would get up to the top and then just shoot the ball with all wrists, and it wasn't helping my shot at all. And I, I worked a lot with Coach G over the summer and uh, Coach Brantley, and I uh, owe a lot of credit to them to coach me through the process, and uh, it's definitely helped me out in practice as well, not having to run as much, and out on the court, helping get those extra points, so. Vince, what did you like? You guys did defensively tonight. You took a lot of, of your shots. Um, well, what it seemed like North Carolina and NC, we watched a lot of film of those guys. They were just bounce a lot. So when we guarded their action, we know they were just going to go one on one. So um, I think we just did a really good job of containing the dribble and helping each other. Um, to play a team like that, it's good to get with them because they, they like to go one on one, as I said. So when you get down to like Big Ten or later in the season, guys get the shot, shot clock plays. And I think we did a really good job on that. We know it's a couple of shot clocks. Uh, we just forced them all the way down through the shot clock. So uh, I just really liked our defense when it broke down and it was time to guard one on one. I think guys did it, guys stepped up, and we did a really good job with each other. Rob and McBride. Yeah, Vince, um, this could be for any of you guys, but I'll, I'll ask it for you, Vince. When you uh, play quick turnaround two days, obviously you get to do that in Big Ten tournament. You play day, multiple days in a row. But is there any difference doing that early in the season when you're still trying to implement what you're trying to work on? Um, no. I mean, you just got to keep the same focus. You know, these guys right here with me, they know. You know, we got guys in the locker room that's returners that know. So we just got to teach the young guys. I mean, they know. They're a very mature group. You know, you just got to get focused. You know, you can talk about tonight, blow on tonight, you know, what you did wrong, what you did right. But uh, once tomorrow comes, you have to change your focus on what's, what's Vermont for us and uh, just keep, uh, just get in and watch film and then prepare for them and then let the game go. Thanks. Um Two games now, or through this game, the exhibition, you know, 52 assists, or yeah, 52 assists on 57 field goals. Just how would you assess the way you guys are passing the basketball right now? Oh, man, uh, it's just tremendous. Guys are doing a good job. Like I said, this team is unselfish. You know, we sacrifice for each other, and everybody just wants to win. And I think that's going to make good for us when we get down in the long run. You know, sometimes it can hurt us. Guys get over passes, but guys want to make the right play and make the make the extra pass just to get that assist and see our teammates get their shot. So I mean, guys just being themselves and finding each other and just playing with each other. It really shows our chemistry on the